Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 2nd, 2020. So yesterday, um, despite domestic violence and uh, all the unemployment and everything out here, we have uh, the bulls continuing to relentlessly push higher. They didn't have a lot of momentum yesterday in that push up. They would would kind of push and struggle to move up, and then if we got any bearish moves, they would quickly um, shift south, and then they struggle and push back up but so far the bulls remain in control and trends remain up so what does that mean for today's uh, market well how about we settle in grab yourself something to drink and let's get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, looking at the futures, the futures are pushing for a higher open. Right now, Dow futures are pointing to a big gap up of um, 140, 150 points, something like that. Pushing back up here into price resistance levels. There seems to be a relentless desire to move higher. It doesn't seem to matter what's going on um, anywhere. Um, we... we don't want to pay attention to economic numbers or metrics. We don't want to pay attention to unemployment numbers. We're really focused on right now the um, hopefulness and the reopening of the economy. And the bullish trend is continuing. There's no doubt about that. There's no deniability here. The bulls remain in control and they are relentlessly in control, um, unwilling to shift from this bullish move at all. Institutions continue to push every single night, every single evening into the futures. Um, the um, institutional drive to continue to gap this market higher day in and day out seems to be there. Last night we had uh, futures pushing lower after the president um, issued some pretty strong statements that he would be calling out the National Guard should um, he need to do that to settle the unrest. And futures um, went lower, but in this relentless fashion right now, they're driving back higher. And we're looking at this gap up open this morning. Technicals in the charts continue to remain. Whoops, I didn't need that switch to a due date. To, today technicals in the chart seem to or continue to remain very bullish with the 50-day moving average turning up one thing i will uh, point out is we are a long ways away from that 50-day moving average meaning that we are quite extended in this move so let's take a look at the dow itself if we were to measure let me get rid of all of these lines if we were to measure from where we are right now to the 50-day moving average. Notice we are 2,161 points above the 50-day moving average. That puts us in a situation where we are significantly stretched to the upside. So we have a condition that would normally um, bring in some profit takers, but right now that seems to not be the case. The profit takers are not here. We just have this um, ravenous desire to buy. So kind of keep that in mind. We are quite extended, but if you choose to buy and if you want to be involved in this, just remember to stay very, very focused on um, the potential that profit takers could come in at any time based on uh, that extension that we have here in the overall market. But the diamonds um, continues to remain bullish. And as you can see, we're pushing up toward that 500 day moving average um, in the Dow and the 200 day moving average above that and some significant price resistance in the chart there on the diamonds. So kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY has conquered its 200-day uh, moving average. As a matter of fact, we had a test of that 200-day uh, as support on Friday, and we are pushing higher. This morning, we're looking at a gap up open, and we're pushing right back into these highs, and that potential price resistance of this high right here and the highs across that chart. So we're pushing back up into those resistance levels in the chart with this relentless bullishness. Once again, I'm going to go to the S&P 500 here. 
um, just to kind of measure from where we are right now uh, for our gap up open. If we just pull this back down to our 50 day moving average, let's keep in mind, we're up about 280 points off of that 50 day moving average, which shows a pretty substantial extension to that upside move. So just keep that in mind. You want to always be remembering that any time we could start to see those profit takers come in and maybe shifting the other direction. So you'll want to be watchful of that and maybe kind of careful of that move. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's happening right at the moment, but Dow futures or the futures markets are moving lower here this morning. Um, uh, now, all of a sudden, we have dropped uh, about 40 points here in the last, well, since I started this video. So um, I don't know if there was news or something out there, but one of the things I was going to suggest is we're likely with a light economic calendar today and a light earnings calendar, we could be very, very sensitive to any political news. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. Now, the NASDAQ itself, this thing is unbelievably strong, and the NASDAQ itself continues to push higher, and we're gapping up this morning, um, pushing up toward these all-time highs. We could very, very soon, and it just seems amazing to me with all of the economic damage and things that we have seen, that um, we could actually be breaking out to brand new highs here in the NASDAQ, but it looks like that's where we're headed um, in this chart. So, kind of keep that in mind and notice that we have a big potential um, sell-off here that could occur if those bears do decide to come in. But I don't think the bears really have any energy in a market where the FOMC is just buying up everything they can find um, to continue to support the market, pushing and pushing, pushing more money into the market. So I don't think, I wouldn't be of the impression that we're going to see any kind of a major collapse in the market. At least there's no indication of that. So I don't want to leave the impression that I think we're going to pull all the way back because I uh, right now there's no evidence of that uh, whatsoever. Just the fact that we are uh, pretty extended here in the market. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM also pushing higher. We're kind of relentless here as well. IWM kind of kicking in with the rest of the indexes here. We have a beautiful upside trend that continues to hold. Seems to be nothing stopping this market as we push back up toward that 200 day moving average in the chart and um, significant resistance and i mean significant price resistance in the chart let's take a look at the vix now the vix yes has just been um well, kind of an interesting thing because we bounce around back and forth. We move up and we pull back um, on these daily moves. We can't seem to um, break support in this chart. So we, we have a little bit of price support right in here. We can't seem to break down in there. We're struggling breaking down in there to test that 200-day moving average. And we, but we do continue to trend lower. So as our trend continues to lead us lower, let's keep an eye on that. Um, we've got all of our indicators um, here on the chart um, showing that everything is still continuing to decline toward that 200 day. And if we turn on some support and resistance in the chart, you can see we're coming back down here to test some price levels in the VIX. Just keep in mind that we are still elevated in the VIX and that if um, the bears do happen to show up, we could spike up pretty quickly. So just be prepared for that in case profit takers do decide to come along here um, uh, at any time. T2122, this one really bothers me here and T2122 is, is continuing to display this overextended condition in the market. Now, let me be very, very clear on this, T2122 in no way, shape, or form tells us that we have to sell off. It just tells us that we're kind of stretched out here. And we could actually consolidate and resolve this problem of being overextended with just a nice consolidation. So kind of keep that in mind. But what it does tell us is that, that we are quite extended and I am continue to watch for that possibility uh, that uh, we could see some profit taking coming in at any time. What that means is I'm continuing to trade long. I'm continuing to trade with the direction of the market. Right now, everything is bullish. Trends are bullish. Price patterns are bullish. 
but I have to be a little bit cautious and be paying attention to the possibility that shift could come at any time. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot going on here today uh, to move us around. We do have the motor vehicle sales number here today but other than that bond announcements and settlements and that's about all we have going um what we do want to pay attention to is the rest of this week though we have a very data heavy uh calendar to pay attention to and it will be heavily focused on unemployment um, as we move forward now so far um, the higher the unemployment goes the higher the market goes right now we just don't care um but who knows when that could shift so just kind of keep an eye on it it's hard to believe that um, that we just don't care about it but we just don't care about unemployment it doesn't seem to matter so um, keep an eye on those um, economic numbers or plan for those economic numbers as you head in here to midweek now let's take a look uh, on our earnings calendar we have about 35 companies reporting earnings today not a whole lot of particularly notable companies um, in that list but a few I want to bring your attention to um, if we take a look at um, um, AMBA AMBA will be reporting this morning and it looks like uh, they're gapping a little bit higher here this morning now like a lot of these charts we're gapping these into price resistance levels um, here in the chart so you can see we have a fairly significant resistance level right here and we continue to push up in these wedging type patterns, pushing higher and higher and resistance, you know, right above that. So um, lots of resistance for some of these charts to deal with. Um, CBRL, CBRL also reporting today. We will want to keep an eye on that. There's a very similar pattern, rising patterns, pushing as hard as they can to move these up. We've got lands end. Uh, in uh, reporting today this is an interesting chart where we're kind of in a wedging type pattern trying to remain bullish and you can see it is trying to um, open this morning about where it closed we're going to be waiting on that earnings report to see if we get any kind of a big move but um, interesting patterns um, all over the place here in these charts how about zm zoom will be reporting today and looks like they're gapping higher this morning so big extension to the upside um, obviously they are a major beneficial beneficiary of the coronavirus situation and looking good last but not least um I'm going to mention uh, Dick's uh, Sporting Goods reporting today and um, you can see they've been trending up nicely here and pushing into some significant price resistance levels in the chart so watch that closely as this reports this morning let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and i gotta tell you guys there are a lot of stocks that um could be setting up so um but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified of um, every time I post a video. And also, guys, if you feel like this video was helpful, if it um, meant something to you, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps me out an awful lot and continues to grow the channel. I want to say thank you very much for that. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. And there are more stocks right now than you can shake a stick at that are setting up and looking bullish a lot of them are in either wedging patterns or into tight consolidation patterns let's take a look at intel here first intel definitely has been trending you can see have a nice little trend going on here we broke through this resistance and we've just been consolidating that move so as we move over here toward the trend we're going to want to watch for that opportunity for that to pop out we also have to consider the fact that intel has resistance above so kind of keep that in mind but right now trends are looking good intel is setting up quite well take a look at energy transfer et also in that 
a very nice bullish pattern. By the way, any of these pink lines, um, you can see I've placed an alert. And what I like about this chart is that although we rallied up here and broke through before and failed to hold that, we have come back and now notice how tightly we're consolidating this move. Really nice resting pattern here in um, ET. And as that consolidates over here toward this trend, I'm gonna be watching for that opportunity to potentially take that higher. Lots of stocks in the oil sector um, are showing similar patterns. Halliburton, very, very tight consolidation here, showing bullishness in its trend. And as we move over toward that trend, keep an eye on that possibility of moving higher. Looks like um, it is gapping up. We'll alert first thing this morning. Um, we have a gap to continue to fill here. Whether we can push beyond that, I don't know, but Halliburton's one of those stocks that just continues to set up. XPO. XPO is another where we broke through price resistance. A big, nice, strong move here on this last um, rally. And now this little pullback and we're starting to lighten up on that price action, that consolidating move over toward trend let's watch for that next opportunity into xpo nice looking chart coca-cola coca-cola is setting up here um, defensive sector stock and you can see having broken its downtrend rallying through some resistance here holding at as uh, support so we're just getting this nice light consolidating move right in here now we do have additional levels of resistance above that we have to think about in this chart but what i would be watching for is that opportunity for coke to kind of start stabilizing and moving itself higher here so keep an eye on that ch chart about pan w p a n w continues in this bullish bullish trend it has lots of resistance above to be watching but doggone it we're just so bullish in this market it really doesn't matter we just keep pushing so we have this nice little pattern in here and pan w continues to work to break through to that upside um, McDonald's, another really nice potential pattern here where we're moving up. We've got that potential of a higher low in here someplace. We don't know where those bulls will step in, but we have this downtrend break and we have this hold of support. All of those things are things that I look for in the chart. And as we continue to consolidate this in this light, choppy price action, I'm going to be watching for that opportunity when those bulls might step in and push that higher. So keep an eye on McDonald's. SMH is another one of those patterns where we broke through this little wedge uh, wedging pattern in here and we're holding it as support we certainly have resistance levels above but smh if you're looking for an etf on semiconductors they're holding up very very well um, and there's been quite a rush uh, during uh, the coronavirus uh, time period to buy up computer stuff they're using uh, their their um, stimulus checks and things to to buy tech and um, holding up pretty pretty strong here um, broadcom uh, broadcom trying to move higher here uh, broadcom is a major supplier of apple and you can see trying to push on through holding in its trend obviously we have resistance levels up here to consider in the chart but we're staying very very bullish in this chart on broadcom take a look at silver now silver uh, three day really strong run up here the last three days in silver um, could see a pullback here at any time so watch that closely but silver pushing up here into these highs trying to break itself out which should serve as a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a concern when we're seeing uh, precious metals surge in a rising market. That is a little bit of a concern. And GLD is also in that rally mode pushing up. So we've broken back above this level of uh, price support here in the chart. We'll want to watch that closely um, as we continue to uh, move this market forward. Kind of an interesting situation right in here. Um, if it can hold in here, we have that opportunity for more upside. So gold and silver moving up, giving me a little bit of concern that we may be reaching that point of pullback. But for now, bulls are still in con to control. CDNS has had a really nice move up here, uh, breaking my alert. Now, any 
any kind of a rest consolidation or pullback that moves us back over here to trend sets up um, an additional opportunity for upside on that and you know guys i could just keep going on and going on and going on and going on there's charts everywhere producing great signals like this but unfortunately i don't have all the time in the world to to uh to make these videos so i'm going to end this here and i want to say thank you to everyone who took the time to watch the video and thank you to everyone who takes the time to leave um, that thumbs up and a brief comment everyone take care have an awesome awesome day i wish you all the best stay safe we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a good one everyone